Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video we continue our activities around Gilly. And first of all I wanted to launch this Gilly shuttle. But it is still drilling and it has not replenished its fuel yet. Uh, it's awful slow. Uh, the power from the sun helps probably. And uh, Shepgun being on board probably helps. But I'm just going to time warp until it's all full, and then we'll get it off of Gilly. I guess it's not that long in the grand scheme of things, just a few days. We actually don't want to top off the liquid fuel, so as soon as the oxidizer is topped off, we'll stop both. Uh, because, um, well, we've got some liquid fuel in the wings that we don't want. Uh, we don't want extra liquid fuel because we don't have any engine that just uses liquid fuel, but there's extra capacity for liquid fuel. Now, there's no reason why we need to bring this back over to Kerbin, but I think we might as well. I guess uh, the mod propellant we might want to top off just to help with balance. Oh, I actually stopped the liquid fuel when the oxidizer was, oxidizer was topped off, so that's good. It automatically did that. Okay. Mod prop then. Okay, so that's that. Alright. So let's stop the ISRU crew report. Is that useful here? Yeah, I guess so. Keep. Um, we're still sliding around. Megan, EVA. EVA report. No. That we don't need to do. Okay. I mean, the question is whether we want to put ship guns somewhere else and just bring him back on the shuttle. And that depends on whether the shuttle is reliable through re-entry, which we don't actually know yet. Um, I didn't even flight test this one. Oh, actually, uh, I guess we can control from the cupola, but it'd be better to control from the docking port in the bay. Okay. Well, we want to get everything more or less in the same sort of situation. And that is going south. And we're here. So we'll just head in the southerly direction. Okay, RCS on and up. Gear up. RCS off. And we can just control from the cockpit now. Okay, and go. Don't know why it's flicking between two different levels of Delta V. Okay, we are on ascent. Camera has changed into some direction we didn't need. Yep. Let's just uh, get everything together. Shep gun might be necessary to rearrange stuff so that we can get the two pieces of scrap through re-entry. But yeah, it's a question whether this is the safer vehicle through re-entry or the scrap heap, if you will. The recovery rig and all. Alright, that's a safe orbit for now, but the shuttle is the last thing I want to have rendezvous with stuff, so it will wait. And boy, it's a jumble around here. And we'll uh, we'll do Valny scrap first, and get it to uh, to the target, which is the recovery rig bus, if we will. I think I can deal with five kilometers. Let's just go with that for now. Valny Kremen is in the pod. Maybe we'll only risk one Kerbal in this sort of situation. And we'll have Shep gun ride. Valny is a scientist, and we don't really need a whole lot more of those. <laughs> no offense. So, maybe Shep gun will ride in the shuttle. But then again, which one is the risk? Hmm. Because of the decoupler on this? It is making it impossible for me to read my Delta V. So that's inconvenient. Well, let's go to the intersect point. Uh, wait, 
let me make sure. Yes, we have a safe periapsis and apoapsis. We're not crashing into Gilly. Gilly rendezvous, though. It feels so peculiar. It's like a rendezvous around Phobos or something. It's not something you normal. Well, I mean, not something I normally do. I know people do lots of stuff around Gilly, but... I'm not used to these tiny planetoids. If they're really long orbital periods, too. Okay. Getting closer. Pushing our retrograde vector towards the negative target marker. Alright, we have communication over here. Yes. Let's control from here. We have to watch out for that little antenna there. Might need to retract it before we dock. Okay, yep, just for safety's sake, retract antenna. Hope there's enough room here <laughs> to dock. It's a close one. Just because we were together initially at any point doesn't necessarily mean we can get together later. EAB rules and space rules are different sometimes, but... We've got magnetism and we are docked. Alright. So that's all together. Now, there's the matter of... Let's get the shuttle here first. We need to move this docking port over here with Shep Gun. So that's one thing. And then we're going to need to move the docking port on the little tug onto the Mark 1 pod and then dock that to this. That'll be thing number two. And then the little uh, claw tug can attach itself to the side to counterbalance the antenna. That's the order of operation. So um, we'll, we'll get the claw tug over here first, though. Uh, it can temporarily... Uh, hover around while the shuttle comes in. So ship guns debris, switch to. Hopefully it has enough RCS, otherwise we'll have to get this to rendezvous. But it's got half of its RCS left. Now that whole thing is Valny's scrap. Boy, Valny's scrap has really taken over, huh? But it's got negligible difference in inclination. Okay, we'll wait for this one. 1.4 meters per second, we get into that orbit. That's for the best, for sure. Let's make sure we are... Oh, we can't make sure that we are getting electric charge, because we can't gain electric charge. Well, let's see if the electric charge holds out legitimately. Of course, it wasn't taking electric charge away from us when we were focused on other vessels or the tracking station, but that's not my fault. It's actually pretty nimble with just a uh, reaction wheel in the core. So got plenty of delta V actually. We could temporarily dock it on the side, but I think we'll just hover around. That should be close enough and we're not aimed directly at it, I don't think. So, but it's getting closer. Eventually it'll get to 0.1 kilometers, but it won't be. Even if it was there, the relative speed is 0.2 meters per second, so it won't hurt anything. Let's get Gilly Shuttle over here. Okay, we're sort of aiming for an intersect point over there. The apoapsis and periapsis will stay in reasonable positions. We won't have matched inclination, but we don't have much to do over there, and it only costs 6 meters per second, so... Just need to go over to this node in two hours. These orbits. Okay, burn. Oh, I think the Valny scrap has drifted away. That wasn't good enough. 0.2 meters per second is a lot around Gilly. I mean, Chepgun's debris has drifted away. Hmm. Well, we'll move that one docking port first. 
Okay, that's probably close enough for a ship gun to get on over there. Okay, moment of truth. Can ship gun take that docking port? Okay, engineering mode. Yes. Oh, no, not there. I want it. Um, pulling alt does not seem to help there, so I'm just going to attach it. Uh, well, hmm, that seems a little bit off. I need to put it like that. We want to make sure it's in line. The pod is tilted a little bit. We are mainly wanting to make sure it's as in line as possible. Maybe even a little bit more. So that part works. Okay, but there isn't actually a pod for ship gun. Oh, no, I think the P has the room for two, so. All right, chef gun is gonna get into the P. There's a slidey thing on this one, board. All right, so that part works. And now we have to get ship gun's debris over here. And we probably can't just jump to it. It's drifted quite far away. Okay, very, very minor adjustment needed. The shuttle will have now departed the vicinity of the rest of the stuff. The scrap heap. I'm just going to call it the scrap heap. Well, it looks like even though I was intending to put ship gun into the shuttle, ship gun has ended up being inside this scrap, the scrap heap after all. I think it might be better to put this long ways instead of the original plan, which is to put it end on. Okay, parking. Now, ship gun. Doing ship gun's super critical work here. Okay, engineering mode time. Grab that docking port. Sorry, sorry little tug. You're not getting that docking port, sorry. Okay, that should be about right. I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but... <laughs> uh... Okay, now, then this, no, wait, we have to switch vessels. Now, then this, control from here, and then set that as a target. All right. Hopefully, magnetism, magnetism. All right. So that's sort of how it was supposed to be. Let's uh, release the claw now and get into its position so control from here now SAS yeah, SAS RCS yeah uh, close enough all right um, now it was all balanced with this having its fuel topped off and also an extra docking port so I'm just gonna move some of the fuel into these so we have to keep it all symmetrical I don't want to be imbalanced during re-entry or anything this is wild enough as it is without adding more wobbliness. We should probably auto strut. So we have two things to bring back. Now, this and the shuttle. And we need to get the right timing, of course. We need to shut down the engines on this recovery rig. So we have 1,833 meters per second to go back, assuming that that's actually correct, which sounds like enough. So we're in good shape so far. All right, let me go to the tracking station and time warp to the return uh, phase angle. Both of these, well, they should be off by enough that they shouldn't hit. Well, while we're away, it won't matter, I think. Okay, we're in roughly the right position. Eve is supposed to be 36 degrees behind Kerbin. This is a little bit more than 36 degrees, but I wanted to make sure that Gilly is in the right place, right? So if we want to go back to Kerbin, we want to eject in the direction of Eve's orbit, so that away. And we would like Gilly to be somewhere on this side here. Right now it's over there. And so, let me just make sure the camera really is oriented right. So yeah, we want it over here. And then uh, we should get a good situation. 
so I've left myself some time for that. It's possible we could have used the shuttle to pick up some of our other crew around EVE. We've got the EVE Mega Station ship and some crew on that, but we should probably test whether it can re-enter safely first or not before we make any plans. Okay, so it's it's over here. That's good enough. It's already got sort of an orbit that's pointed in the right direction. And we'll go with uh, the Valny Scrap. Currently, that's what it's called. Valny scrap, scrap first, and then the shuttle. One interesting situation is the shuttle is fully fueled right now. And if it turns out we don't need that much fuel to get back home, it's going to be awful heavy. <laughs> uh, so we might need to burn off some of that fuel, actually. We're in this weird orbit here, but that probably won't have too much of an effect. Oh, we're going... Um, well, let's see, we want to go that away. It's just our orbit around Gilly is so long that by the time we make an orbit around Gilly, Gilly's already moved quite a lot. So we're waiting from to go from here all the way around till where we get to here in order to eject. But by that time, Gilly's already moved in its orbit by a chunk from here to here. And if we wait another orbit, it's going to be further along. And so that's what's complicating matters. Well, due to the timing, it looks like it's going to be more expensive than I was initially expecting. But we have it. We have the amount in theory, assuming that reading is correct. So, yeah, we can do it. We're not doing a mid-course adjustment here because um, we're trying to use a lot of radial to fix this. All right, so that's our plot. It'll be enough delta V in theory. Let's check it out. Now, ultimately, we're going to be setting down on this side given the parachute placement. So that's a bit complicated. Maybe we can extend the landing gear to help. It could be on land. So at least we don't have any crew in that crew cabin. But it is a little bit awkward right now. Okay. We should be controlling from the right thing. Let's see. Go. Yep. All the nodes are moving. Note. Mo nodes are moving all over the place. It might be better to just eject into EVE orbit and then do all this in EVE orbit instead of here. Oh, 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 oh. For some reason, it reset our node. Oh, because we left uh, Gilly SOI. We're outside of Gilly SOI and it reset the node and now everything's complicated. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna keep burning in this direction. <laughs> And hope for the best. Oh, our apoapsis keeps going up. Yep, everything's gone pear-shaped. Eventually, we're trying to hit Kerbin at the descending node, so the descending node has to move to where we intersect Kerbin's orbit. Nope, oh, okay. Uh, are we getting closer or not? Okay, getting closer. Uh, you know what? Uh, Mid-course adjustment. <laughs> We've got 279 left. And, oh, I don't want it in two years. And we'll come in roughly like that. Okay, so this is on its way back home with Valny and Shepgun. And let's hope for the best for them. But now we'll turn to the shuttle. Okay, so I'm taking a bit of a different approach to the shuttle given how the previous one worked. We're just gonna escape and then do a burn. And it turns out this is more efficient anyway. Uh, our attempt to do it all on the ghillie plot was inefficient because it wasn't calculating things properly, probably. So we'll escape first, do that, 572 or so, and then a maneuver here with 400. And that gets us an encounter with Kerbin. We'll adjust that second one after we do the initial burns. 
Okay, so this is coming up. Let us take care of this. And we'll see whether the shuttle is a survivable thing. <laughs> it's got these drills point poking out. I hope they have good heat tolerance. Okay, and go. Yeah, I think it would have been much more efficient to do the burns if we weren't in such inclined orbits around Gilly, but anyway. On to the next one. Oh, that's in four days. It's actually behind us. I didn't notice that. I thought it was in front of us. Okay, so we'll be waiting a while. But I'll take it as plotted. And there goes our Valneys scrap. The scrap heap is on its way out. Well, there's a shot. And it's an interesting way to have a node, but that's what the plot was. Let's hope it still holds. And burn. Okay, last bit of the burn. We'll just do it as plotted and then fix it at the mid-course adjustment. So that's that. And that's pretty equatorial, so we probably want to use uh, the extra fuel to capture into orbit and then from low carbon orbit deorbit and come down. That'll be easier. So then we'll capture. Let's see how much getting into low carbon orbit will take. A thousand. So yeah, I mean we have the delta V and we don't want to be carrying the extra fuel anyway. So we'll do that. Okay, so let's go to the tracking station. This node is in four days only, so not very long. Let's hope we haven't passed the node for our other mission. We had to wait four days for this mission. Valney's scrap is in five days, so the shuttle is first. Well, we will be demonstrating fairly advanced ISRU shuttle capabilities if the shuttle manages to go through re-entry successfully. If it doesn't go through re-entry successfully, well, Megan's got a very long parachute ride down. <laughs> At least we only have to rescue one Kerbal that way, so I won't have to accidentally lose a Kerbal, as has happened before. Okay, and... Coming to the end of the burn. And that's good enough. All right. So let's see that the situation around Kerbin is still the same. Well, we're a little bit higher up, but that's fine. We just need to adjust that over there. And that is same enough. Still equatorial, very much so. So that arrival is in 42 days. That's much later than the than the debris stack. Now, now I'm calling it a debris, debris stack. I keep changing the name of this thing. Uh, what what did I, the, the scrap heap? Scrap heap. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, because of the way we did the transfer, it's gonna arrive later. So the shuttle will be last now, and we're going to follow the scrap heap in. Okay, so that correction burn is complete. And that's a little bit high, but we can correct that once we get there. I, I wonder if a little bit more puffing... Yeah, okay, that'll help. We'll just do the normal 26 kilometers. All right. So let's make sure that the parachutes are their own stage here. that we don't want that to stage and we don't want the ant engines to do anything. We do want as much fuel down here as possible initially. So I'm gonna move the center of mass. Let's just drain these. We've got a lot of mass up here after all. And we don't need it up there. 
Okay, I think that does it. I don't think there's anything else I can transfer. So we'll just have to hope it's okay. All right, here goes nothing. Valney and Shepgun. Will Shepgun's efforts have been worth it? We will find out. Immense trepidation at this point, frankly. The could go horribly wrong factor is high. As I retract the solar panels. And inflate the heat shield. Which we couldn't do earlier because the spark engines might have been necessary. Okay, does that look like it's sufficiently covered? I think so. Seems reasonable. I think the reaction wheel is more than sufficient to hold us steady. I could otherwise use the monopropellant. Okay, entering Kerbin's atmosphere. Well, there is overheating on the heat shield. Uh oh, we're deviating a bit. Uh, I think it's within normal range. We'll just have some cross range at this rate. Serious G forces. But nothing Shepgun and Valney cannot handle. And we are certainly coming down. Alright, we are through that part of the ordeal. We are over land at the moment. And we cannot see the nature of that land, but it is reasonably high. Two kilometers. Okay, parachutes. SAS off. I'm pretty sure that the parachutes inflating will flip us around. I'm going to deploy the landing gear like all of the landing gears and there's definitely some peaks over there but I don't think the land over underneath us is particularly bumpy I don't really want to jettison this heat shield <laughs> feel like it might be helpful I don't even know if we're gonna flip around or not ooh we did <laughs> we definitely did that okay do I want that thing on top? I think it's not a good idea to try and remove it now. 7.8 meters per second. Um, We can sort of... wrong way. I want to dump the mod propellant if we can. I wonder if running the engines does anything. I'm gonna run the engines just to dump fuel. Okay, I'm gonna stop running the engines, because they're effectively pushing us down now. And... well... Well, I'll leave the RCS on. Oh... It's a bit... Uh, oh, it's flopping. But the heat shield helps. Okay! Alright, before we start rolling... Uh, recover vessel. 54 signs gained. Many parts. And... We should have, yep, Valny's scrap done and Shepgun's scrap done. So, all that is good. And now, the thing we don't actually need to do, we don't need to bring the shuttle back down. <laughs> I have to point out, there's no, there's no contract reason to bring it back to the surface. We could refuel it in orbit. It can get to orbit. And we don't need to bring it down. Hmm. I think that might be just a smarter thing to do. There's no need to bring it down. Uh, uh, there's except for testing whether it can be brought down, which is important. It's an important piece of. Ah, uh, we'll do it. Uh, I, after all, it's not like we can send it somewhere else and fulfill another base contract because you have to create a new vessel anyway. Well, we have the same periapsis. We're just gonna manually get into orbit, so. Oh, well, we're not losing electric charge. And go. 
Okay, capture burn relatively successful. It's a long burn, so we didn't quite hit where I was looking for, but all right. Now, where is the KSC? KSC is over here, so it's in daylight, so we would like to come down sooner rather than later. And I can, well, I mean, the aerodynamics of this one are going to be different from the previous shuttle, so. Knowing what the previous shuttle needed doesn't really help here. We've got to round it out at 100 kilometers first. Just for my convenience. If I happen to remember what number I picked for this try, it'll give us a good reference for the next time. Okay, that's good enough. Mostly circular. We'll go with the Woomerang launch site idea, but we will need a lower periapsis than a uh, dumb stage would take. I'm going to aim for 15, and maybe we'll be using air brakes. Maybe we won't. It looks pretty hefty after all, so I don't know how much lift it gets. It's about time for us to retract the solar panels. I'll finally for once look like a proper shuttle. Gosh, the electric charge goes away quickly. But we could always turn on the fuel cells. I mean, uh, when we're using the reaction well, now it's stopped going away. That's interesting. Why was it using electric charge before then, if it's not going to use electric charge now? Are the fuel cells still on? Oh, I guess the fuel cells have been on this whole time. Interesting. Yeah, I never turned, well, one fuel cell off. So, okay. The fuel cell is running. I guess that's for the best. Well, we seem to be using a lot of pitch authority. I'll activate the RCS. We've got the mod propellant after all. And the uh, all-powerful burner engines. Well, we're right over to this. Well, not right over, but uh, at the same longitude as the desert launch site at the moment. At the moment, it feels like we're going to be short, but we should be able to glide a bit. Well, we're using all our pitch authority with the Verners. Maybe I should just land here. I don't know if I can get to our home continent or not like this. Okay, I think I'm gonna land on this continent. So, air brakes. And I'll try and roll to the left so that we've got more beach there to land on. Not quite the glorious return of previous shuttles, but as long as it's intact for now, we'll take it. So maybe we should have just gone for 26 kilometer periapsis. Again, 15 was too low. Uh, don't stall, don't stall, don't stall. Uh, go down though. Don't hit the cactus. Don't hit the cactus. Oh well. Oh, we're sort of power sliding. All right. Power sliding to a stop there, Megan. All right. Fine. Right. Recover vessel. Not on a runway, but hey, again, we recovered it. That's the important part. And okay, 33 science earned for that one. And 137,000 funds from the recovered parts. A little bit far away from the KSC, but we got a lot back. And Megan got 21 XP, but did not add another point because she was already a four-star pilot. All right, so I think that was a rousing success. Next time, I think we've got some Ike missions, but we'll see. We'll see. But there, there are a lot of Duna Ike things here, I notice. So that satellite and Colnia orbit around Gilly. They want a new orbital station around Gilly, but I've had enough of Gilly for now. But the rest of this stuff is sort of all over the place, so we'll see. All right, so with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.